Bartenders of Reddit, what's the smoothest move you've ever witnessed someone put on the opposite sex? As I was bartending I heard one guy say I'd never forgive myself if I didn't ask for your number. And the girl said sure. Wanted now or tomorrow morning? He looked at me bewildered. I nodded him on. Smooth move girl. This stuck with me through the years. I worked at a restaurant bar that went bat crap crazy in Friday and Sat night. Sunday was industry night and local bar staff would come hang out, play pool, and enjoy half price drinks. Girls shows up that I'd seen before but couldn't place. She was kind and engaging, but I think she was giving signs. Midway through the night she asked about playing pool. We'd open the table for staff night. The process required you to crouch down and unlock a side panel to access the balls. While kneeling she walked past me from behind and casually ran one finger from shoulder blade to shoulder blade. I was surprised, but there's no missing that sign. When I stood up and met her eyes the whole context was set, and there she was with a knowing, playful, slightly mischievous look on her face. I've never been picked up so well, so confidently and so elegantly before. Turns out she was a bartender from a spot a little further away that I'd been to a few times, she found out who I was and came with intention. We dated for several months, liked her more than most. In fact, I Margot creep her on social media. Upvote for honesty. I work a pretty nice, tropical mixology bar. One night we had casual night so to speak. So instead of my usual button up shirt I wore sleeveless tank that said sleeping with the bartender won't get you free drinks, but it's worth a shot. Saw it online and I printed three. One for me, two for my fellow bartenders. I did it cause I thought I'd be funny. Well, crap, it worked. Not only did we get a stupidly high amount of tips, like 200 bucks each, but we all went home with a girl that night. Ro, I bet she was exhausted. I was not a tender at the time but have been for over 15 years. A friend and I were having a beer or seven while waiting for our pool league to start. The BT was really cute, personality cute, with a fantastic smile. We were all a bit smitten. The bar was slow and she was leaned over talking to us and I could tell he was on fire. He asked for another beer and as she reached for it, he blew a smoke ring that seemed to slowly grow in size. Her back was to him when he released this majestic ring. As she turned around, the motion of her body caused it to slow down. I swear time almost stopped here, and as she set the beer in front of him the ring just hovered ever so gently over the bottle then slid slowly over the bottle, down stem growing just enough over the shaft and hit the bar, gently dissipating. When she looked up he was staring into her eyes. She said softly, that's the sexiest thing I have ever seen. This smooth mother says you should see what else I can do. A slight pause and he grinned, winked and slapped a 5 on the bar. We walked away to meet some friends who had just walked in. He leans into to me and says no way in heck I could pull that off on purpose I just lost it and we shared a laugh. Next thing we knew, they were together. Time passes by and friends grow apart. Last I knew they were still together. 20 years later and I still remember that as the smoothest thing I have ever seen and I am a grown butt man. Sorry for the long story. The question just reminded me of a great memory so I had to share. Thanks. Blowing smoke rings inside and slapping down a 5 to pay for drinks. Vintage. I tended bar for a local youth club of sorts for a couple of years on weekends. There was one guy who was trying to hook up with one particular girl. I knew them both, which he did over the course of several weeks. Every time she'd come up to the bar, he'd be somewhere near, or in another spot at the bar and he'd just smile whenever he caught her eye like he knew her. Eventually, she went up and talked to him to try and figure out where he knew her from. He didn't. It was just the slowest, most deliberate game of don't I know you from somewhere I've ever seen. They weren't together for long but still. I was in a very strange bar. It was my going away present from my co-workers. One of my older co-workers, like 40-50ish, sees this lady enter with a dog. The bar allowed dogs. It was freezing cold and dogs were everywhere. He changes the conversation to what kind of dog do you think that is? I think the group settled on Cocker Spaniel mix. He gets up, asks the lady if her dog is a Cocker Spaniel, asks if it likes treats, what dog doesn't. He had saved dog treats in his coat pocket for some reason. The dog is stoked. He's going on about how he used to have one. Pretty sure he didn't. And for the rest of the night they were hitting it off. 
I was the only person in our group that noticed his insane success. Miss that crowd of people. Not the job though. Not a bartender but watched a buddy pull this off. So there is this beautiful chick. And this dude is trying to talk to her and clearly she is not into it. So my buddy buys two beers and walks right up to her and sits down and says hey babe. I got you a beer I saw the words come out of his mouth from across the noisy bar. And there was a split second moment of suspense. She immediately grabbed him by the arm and replied thanks babe. I was utterly shocked that it worked. First dude promptly bailed and like 20 minutes later my buddy was making out with that chick haha. There you have it folks. Confidence. You might have just watched a Will Smith movie instead of going to the bar. My buddy has a stupid good voice. Plays in a Hawaiian reggae band. In the town we live in everyone knows who he is. He's a good guy with a ton of personality. One night he finished a set and a girl walked up and said Jeff. How come you never sing me a song she asked this because he had dedicated a song to a friend that night. Anyway, his response was to sing her kiss the girl from the little mermaid. She melted. After the chorus he leaned in and kissed her. It belonged in Barney Stinson's playbook. To this day I am amazed it worked. Stupid good voice. Comma good guy with tons of personality. Comma sang a freaking love song for that girl. Why are you surprised? When I was shoving beer across this bar a few years back, I had two quite hot girls sitting at my bar. One of them gave me a few looks that were a little beyond maybe we'll get some free drinks. It wasn't really crowded, so I overheard a bit of their conversation. The girl who gave me the look said something like isn't really crowded here today. Don't know where this is night is gonna lead to having a little trouble translating this crap from German. Original. IST John Isht Jared Loss here. Mal Sehen Wodas Noxo Hin Fahrit. I looked over to her and said well, how would like this to end? She looked me straight in the eyes, waited around a second and just said, simultaneously. She was actually looking to make a suicide pact. I was visiting a friend at another college when we went to a huge party with an open bar. I was making a drink when I noticed the ice bucket was empty. Went to the freezer, emptied the ice tray into the bucket, went to the sink and filled the ice tray with water, and returned the tray to the freezer. One of the girls living in the house came over and said it was the sexiest thing she had ever seen. Yeah I got a boner just reading this story. Not a bartender but I was nearby while a pledge brother of mine was chatting with a girl. Things were going well and he tries to kiss her. She shies away and says she isn't into PDA. His response was, good thing my bedroom door has a lock. They immediately left together. I was in awe. I skimmed this at first and didn't see the part about PDA. So I just thought it was a crazy rape joke. It would have been an amazing pickup. Not a bartender but the smoothest move I've ever witnessed was a guy we were out with walked up to this stunning girl in a nightclub. The sort that even the most trying of guys didn't bother with because she had high maintenance and way out of your league stamped all over her. And went, not looking for a relationship, just casual sex. Fancy coming back with me tonight. He was confident and cocky, but certainly not the best looking lad in the world. She looked him up and down, chuckled, and went alright. That was the last we saw of him that evening. Group of about 20 guys left speechless after it happened. I will never believe stories where this happens. Not now. Not ever. Not someone else but. Walking up a train station this cute girl wearing heels fell backwards and I caught her. All I said was I don't like girls who fall for me too fast. She ended up chasing me and we diddled. So uh, if you want to find love just wait for someone to end up in a dangerous situation and do something about it. One time I saw a girl get crushed by a bus. Nothing I could do. So I was flirting with the bartender at my favorite bar on my 21st birthday. She was newish, and I was drunk as frick. Before I left, she told me that I looked exactly like her ex-boyfriend. I asked her if she was sure that I didn't look like her next boyfriend. Then I did finger guns and walked out. Literally the smoothest I've ever been. My ex is one of the most prolific bartenders in our city. Everyone, everyone knows her and she never dates across the bar. Two July 4th ago I asked her, are you taking boyfriend applications? It worked. I myself am a bartender in a college bar at a school often ranked number one party school. Word of advice, 
seeing as many of you seem to be seeking it. If the bar is busy, and you think the bartender is cute, that is not the time to talk to her. She will be simply annoyed and any chance you may have had is now down the drain. Personally, my favorite customers, and the only customer I've ever given my number to, are the ones who come in on weekdays and actually get to know me, not annoy me with their drunk antics. Overall, don't be afraid to hit on the bartender. There are often guys that I am checking out just as hard as they are me. Haha, <laughs> that's gotta be Madison. I have a crush on a cute bartender in Madison. Not at a college bar so probably not you. And you have emboldened me. Thank you. Obligatory not a bartender here. Irish guy walks in and orders a few shots. The ladies go crazy for his accent and he starts telling them about Ireland. His favorite Irish bands. And things he likes about the states. A few drinks in and he started sounding a little less Irish. After he was completely crap faced his Irish accent was a full blown southern drawl. The girls were so ducked up they didn't even notice. Saw the guy at the same place a while back and he was an Aussie. IDK who that smooth mother was but he reminded me of Robert California. He pulled more B than Bill Cosby. I have a friend who is a voice actor. He tells women that everyone has an accent that makes them melt and asks what theirs is. Then he slips right into whichever accent then name. It isn't even fair. I saw this girl introduce herself and ask the guy what his name is. She blew us all away when she was able to take him home on the strength of that move alone. Shh might a might I just letting it all hang out. Not a bartender. But had a buddy who had an amazing ability to look at any situation, read all the players involved, and own it to say just the right combination of funny and confident. Every night we ever went out he either took a girl home or got a number to take her home later. Highlights. We went from his apartment to the bar in lobby area. Two girls walk by us and I contact us. He says follow me. Walks up next to them and loudly says to me, Buddy, this sucks. Let's go upstairs for a drink there. One of the girls looks over and goes, Oh, what upstairs? My friend goes our place. Wanna come up we go. Two minutes in and out. Was told this second hand. He sometimes liked shock value from saying stupid crap. Line of the night was hey, you into five guys at the same time girl would go you know. He would go good. Cause there are only four of us. She laughs. Ice broken. Well this one time girl actually goes yes. I love it. Buddy thinking quickly goes great. Let me grab another guy and let's get out of here. Off they go and run train on this girl. Stunning redhead too. Did me a favor once. Got a text in a club from him saying get your butt upstairs to me. I walk up and he is talking to two rather hot girls. I get beside them. One girl looks at me. Looks at my friend. Says you're right. He is hot. And then grabs me and starts making out with me. No idea what he said to her. But it was a good night. Your username assures me that all these stories are true. I once knew a guy who could stroll into any bar in our city and come out with at least one very attractive girl to go home with. His trick? He's attractive. Absurdly attractive. Pretty easy to do. Really. Once you become attractive. Want to learn his trick? You can't. You're not nearly attractive enough. Addendum. Money is the catalyst to this process, of course. If we're talking about moves with a high success rate, the best technique seemed to be striking up a casual conversation. It's also been the most successful move I ever made and is responsible for all my recent relationships. People who try to use some special trick, mostly guys, come off as obvious to me and I don't think the women are fooled either. Then they get shot down, and turn to me and make some comment about how it must be something off with her. I live in a coastal town in the northeast of England. I've never witnessed a smooth move in 10 years working as a bartender. This was whilst I was at university, working in a local pub. A group of people came in celebrating something and an incredibly attractive lady wearing super smart office attire asked for a bottle of champagne. I brought one out from the back and provided four glasses. She attempted to open the bottle but was unable to prize out the cork. She rested the bottle on the side in order to dry her hand slightly. As she did this, her elbow knocked the bottle off the bar including two glasses. A gentleman who'd been sat at the bar reading a book for the last hour moved with lightning speed and caught the bottle with one hand, a glass with the other, and the last glass with his foot, with the glass resting on the top of his shoe. The bottle having been shaken, popped its cork, 
but this magnificent bastard was ready. He caught the ensuing fizz in the first glass and handed it to her, and then flicked the one resting on his foot to his free hand and caught the rest of the fizz before it started to settle. All in all, only a few drops had been lost to the floor. He nonchalantly placed the bottle onto the bar, gave the other full glass to one of her open-mouthed colleagues and after quietly saying that was close, went back to his book. Quite a number of people saw it happen due to her scream as she realized the rather expensive bottle was about to hit the floor. So when Mr. Fantastic did his Jason Bourne routine, the place erupted in applause. He actually seemed to shrink a little bit at the attention, but politely nodded to everyone, which I took to be the understatement of the year. She offered him a glass, but he politely turned it down. I gave him his next drink on the house. The lady whose champagne he saved looked rather smitten, and when her party left an hour later, she gave him a small piece of paper, which I assumed to be her number. The dude just mumbled thanks, put it in his pocket and carried on reading. I often wonder what he's doing now. I'm sure someone that effortlessly cool is probably on a yacht with that beautiful woman, moored somewhere like Saint Tropez. Either that or he's an MI5 or something. Some say he's the Stig. Two. I can share one. I once walked up to this girl with a cube of ice and just held it on her bare shoulder. She looked at me with the what the heck are you doing face and I casually responded oh I'm sorry I just can't take my eyes off you. She laughs, gives me her number there and then. On a side note, here's one of the biggest crash and burns I've ever seen. My cocky friend walks up to this smoking hot girl and pretend he's in pain and his eyes hurt. She notices and asks why. To which he replies you're so pretty it hurts just to look at you. She promptly says well then stop looking and walks away. Ouch. Seems like the ice thing would be more likely to get you the cold shoulder. Former bartender of the good Ole NYC. Okay so woman walks in. Hot. Sits in stool at an empty bar. Perhaps late 30 IES to early 40s. Anyway, it was a Monday during football season. 25 cent delicious wings $2 premium drafts I mention this so you can picture the type of crowd we are expecting. 6 p.m. hits and we are balls to the wall busy. Hot woman drinking her water. Ordered a cheap appetizer. In other words not getting a lot of my attention. Fast forward to fourth quarter. Sipping water still. Jets vs Patriots game bar is heated. Packed. Game in preseason where Sanchez threw 4 interceptions. Crowd is all 21 years old. I see a very good looking, popular young kid leaning a little too far over. Spills beer on said lady. Lady turns slowly to her left I'm preparing for the worst. Lady says I'm all wet in the wrong places. Lick me dry here, so I'll be wet here. Points to crotch. Sloppy kid licks said woman here at bar. Woman throws $100 down says to me that should cover it. Helps stumbling guy into Mercedes. Well done. Reverse the genders and this is super creepy. I mean it's creepy anyway, but still. I was DJing at a bar and a girl who was eyeballing me all night asked me what I'm doing after. I said leaving with you. So we left together and did inappropriate things. It was a good night. Not a bartender, but overheard someone use a Monty Python coconut joke about African or European swallows and turned it into a sex joke. Crap worked. I don't discriminate if they swallow. A few years ago, cool guy I worked with pulled a move I found smooth af. Pretty lady w friend in tow is about to light a cigarette. He literally jogs over saying, whoa, yo. The two girls along with everyone present are a little startled as he snatched the cigarette out of her mouth. Turns out it was backwards. He held it up w his eyebrows raised cheekily, flipped and lit it, then handed it back to her with a beaming smile. Really could have gone the wrong way, but somehow he pulled it off. I worked one night and saw a couple of friends, who obviously didn't know each other that well before that night. One of the girls didn't care much for one of the guys. One of the other guys told him, and he went to ask her why she didn't like him. He was so drunk, however, that he asked some random girl on the dance floor why she didn't like him. Somehow that worked. 20 minutes later, they took off to his place. Not me, but my mom. My dad attended a gay bar in 1997 to 1999 and I am told it was good tips. He wasn't afraid to flirt for a few extra dollars. Anyways, some of the regulars like to play games with him, and tease him, and come on to him, 
as in flirt, not bukeke. One of the regulars said one night boy, it'd love to have a piece if that butt, and my mother, who had been sleeping with him regularly said I've had it, and he lost his crap. Thus, that night, I was convived. This is my first true encounter with somebody's age being truly shocking to me. The idea of your parents meeting at a bar in the late 90s seriously messed with my head. Sorry if this is offensive to you. I just wanted to inform you of your significance in my life. I used to work in a busy club in London, not at the bar but in the cloakroom which was in a long corridor between the three main bars club rooms and the smoking area. The club had a huge drug culture and attracted, non-English speaking, people from all over Europe, meaning communication, especially at 11am when customers had been raving their tea off for a good 12 hours and they just want their coat and to go home was sometimes a huge problem. Unfortunately I was the last girl most guys saw, after a long night of trying to pull, before heading home for the night and being hit on by sleazy young men was part of the job. However one guy in particular always stands out. One night, a French guy who lost his coat ticket was giving me a horrible time about wanting back his coat, but couldn't tell me the color or style. He couldn't understand a word I said, even when I was shouting what's your name in French at the top of my lungs. Not sure if language or wasted, probably both. Anyway, once I gave him his coat like 15 minutes later, he relaxed loads and asked me my name. I told him my name was Robin and he said as smooth and sexy French as possible in that case. I am your Batman. Not a bartender, but had one used on me. I had a mild crush on a friend. I'll call her Sharon. Sharon reciprocates more strongly than I do, and neither of us have realized yet. We're out with friends who all leave and she has just enough to drink that she can't drive. I live near a train station and she doesn't. She knew that, and planned it, so I invite her to crash. She knew I didn't have a spare room and suggests sharing my bed. Not in those words, which I still interpret as in a platonic sense until a few seconds after we are both in there. We lasted a few months was at a club with my friend. We're standing at the bar right as we got there for a few minutes. He tells me we gotta make a move to the dance floor. No less than 30 seconds later a girl approaches us. She goes so what are you here for tonight odd question I wasn't expecting but I respond with I guess have fun and dance with people. She responds with like fun with the opposite sex I thought this was a weird way of saying fun with girls so I wasn't sure if she meant with other guys so I said you mean like fun with girls and she said yes and I said then yes. She says her friend on the other side of the club thought I was really hot and wants me to talk to her. I was blown away how straightforward she was with me. Ended up going and talking to the friend. Was with her the whole night. Both sides of my neck were destroyed with high keys while on the dance floor. Didn't notice till the next morning and I had an interview the next day. I've witnessed a few effective ones. One is pretending to meet your parent relative who is now removed from the family and being stood up. Kinda gross but 70% success rate. Pity frick is still a frick I guess. Another is asking the opposite sex this exact question. People open up when recalling their own experiences and once sex is the topic both minds are now on the same track that usually ends up in bed. And there is laughter about the failed attempts that serve as comical relief if the other is not in the mood. Drunk enough yet. By far the most successful is talking about food, weed or blow. 9 stroke 10 people connect over these 3 things then leave together. I've seen it happen a hundred times. Still blows my mind how openly people trust compete strangers with felony level information. Ever heard of an undercover cop? Lastly, and I don't consider this a move, but just striking up a conversation with someone at a bar can very easily lead where you want it to go if you are genuine and not fugly. Everyone at bars are there for the same reason 1. Drink 2. Socialize 3. Leave happier than you came in. Also what doesn't work ever, bragging about Persetian's experiences. I've seen dudes get laid more times because dude A takes a girl on a date, bombs, then leaves her at the bar table pure sad, then dude B walks up and goes something like WTF was that you okay seen this work both ways. Source, bartending at fine dining restaurant. What is the exact question? I'm more confused than when I started reading this. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video.
Bye for now.